Hi hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the channel and yet another reaction. So, I had to go to bed last night. I was in work today. I did not get a chance to watch the entire uh, live stream, what we thought was going to be an announcement. It turned out to be the full concert, which you had to, uh, I think it was you had to apply for it, and you had to be able to travel and be in LA. I think it was in LA. Was it in LA? Yeah, I think it was in LA or Cal California. They're both the same thing. No, they're not. I don't know. Either way, America. You had to be able to be in the America place. Uh, and yeah, they did a full concert. We finally, finally do now know who the new vocalist of Lincoln Park is as well. It's a female. A female vocalist, Emily Armstrong. And from what I got to watch, I didn't get to catch the whole set last night. She did damn well. She did absolutely damn well. Um, the amount of the size of the balls, the bollocks, the testicles on this woman to go out in front of the world, in front of a live audience of Linkin Park fans for the first time and sing live with the band, that takes balls bigger than just just big big balls really big veiny fat balls so yeah they have a track an official track full disclosure i did hear them perform this last night however this is the studio version my take on her performance was she did well like i've said she was strong she can sing hell of a singer she can really sing her screams i got to a point i think it was about halfway through from what i've been able to tell uh where her voice did go a little bit look nerves are gonna come into this she ain't gonna be perfect the first time um the chat however was a little bit toxic you know the band think that she's good enough the band have given her the position of vocalist and us as fans should just appreciate that at the end of the day we have lincoln park back i have spent a day whenever i could listening to hybrid theory and meteora two of my favorite lincoln park albums and yeah, it's not going to be Chester, but it was never designed to be Chester. That's the thing. He's never coming back, unfortunately. You know, rest in peace, you absolute legend. But unfortunately, it's physically impossible for him to come back unless necromancers become real. And that ain't going to happen either. Put the drugs down. So yeah, this is... When I can get my headphones out from being wrapped around the mic stand. This is the new single, The Emptiness Machine. Official music video, Linkin Park. Now, Linkin Park like to block videos. So I'm going to have the video up at the side. But through to the power of editing, I'm going to have the artwork up on the screen. The new album was announced as well. November 15th from Zero. So yes... Let us get the headphones on. Let us cue this video up in the background. Um, what I will be reacting to will be the music video. You just won't see it on the video itself. But links to links below. You've probably already seen it. Go and watch it again. Leave a like, all that good stuff. But anyway, let's get into this. The Emptiness Machine. Your blades are sharpened with precision. I think they did the open with this. Flashing your favorite point of Like you always do, just like you always do. Already pulling me in, already under my skin, and I know exactly how this ends. I let you cut me open just to watch me bleed. Gave up who I am for who you wanted me to be. Don't know why I'm hoping for what I won't receive. Of the emptiness machine. The emptiness machine. It still goes half their sound as well, that's the thing. Play the sound, but yeah. Studio version. Yeah, she's good in the studio, man. Not 
not that awful anthem. Nice to see Mike sing as well rather than rap. Do you know what, people? Do you know what? For her to do that live, first off, you know, a lot of people, what you don't seem to realise now, because um, the chat was being so toxic last night, you usually get the studio version first before you tend to hear a vocalist live. And they just thought, fuck it, let's go for it. She must have been prepared. She must have been, you know, told you're going to get some shit for this. There's going to be some dickheads. Um, it's the internet. You know, people, as soon as they get behind the keyboard, they, they turn into dickheads. The studio version was always going to be cleaner. It's just a fact of life. If you know how music works, Chester, to be fair, was a very, very, very fucking good studio vocalist. Also very good live. But compare the two... Chester had off days as well. He's only human. You know, Emily to come out last night and do that full set. Phenomenal balls. Like I've just been saying before that video got on. It does have the Linkin Park sound, but the Linkin Park sound of new or of the last kind of album that they released. Um, you know, people have been saying all kinds of shit and being really horrible about the band in general without realising the the band are back you know Linkin Park are back we're going to get new music from them we're getting a new album they played a couple well, quite a few of the classics last night I've seen the set list of what they played um, and I caught half I had to go to bed I'm up at 10 to 6 every morning of a weekday and it would have killed me to stay up and watch the whole thing I would have loved to but anyway um, I think she did a very good job and it's nice to see more women in music like overall it is nice to see more women in music, in alternative music, in metal music. You know, you, you kind of can't forget when you see the sheer amount of talent we have of the female variety, if you like. Tatiana from Ginger, Alyssa from Arch Enemy, Lizzie Hale of Have Hailstorm, Amy Lee of Evanescence, Shannon Den Adele from Within Temptation. You know, Floor Janssen from Nightwish. All these fucking absolute queens of the music scene in alternative music. And people are saying horrible shit that women don't belong in metal and stuff or in alternative music. And it's like, just look at the fucking calibre of women that we have. And why, why should it matter? Why should it be a problem? If it was a guy stepping in to Chester's shoes and, you know, fucking massive, un unfathomable sized shoes to step into for anybody... He'd have got the same shit as well because there was people saying this ain't Chester, this doesn't sound like Chester, it's not meant to. It's not meant to sound like Chester. It was never ever going to. It's impossible. The man was unique. That's like saying you can replace Freddie Mercury and Queen with someone that sounds like Freddie Mercury. It's not going to fucking happen. Like it really isn't. The man is irreplaceable. But they're not trying to replace him. This is just a new era. This is just a new time for Linkin Park. People saying they should have changed the band name. Why? Like, that that carries so much weight. That's their identity. That's their name. When it comes to all the marketing and the SEO, you type in Linkin Park on Google right now, it's fucking full of all kinds of stuff. Um, 
Well, there's still Lincoln Park at the end of the day, just to get a new vocalist. You know, Chester very unfortunately passed away. And some people in the chat, and, you know, it's heartbreaking listening to it, to his voice on the older tracks. If that's your kind of opinion, you don't think anyone else should do it but Chester, go listen to Chester's stuff. The band will still profit off it. You're still supporting the band. Just keep your comments to yourself. If you want to give this girl a chance, because she's definitely fucking talented, then stick around. There could be some absolute bangers on this album. And, you know, like I've been saying before, she came on stage and sang Chester's songs and did them fucking justice from what I've seen. And that is not an easy thing to do. Okay, there was a little couple of breaks and a little couple of bung notes and stuff. It's going to happen. It's the first time she's played live with the band. And she did it live to the world and a live Linkin Park audience for the first time. Fucking respect respect all day long it takes huge balls to do that but there we go i think the song's good um I'm, in, I'm intrigued about what's gonna come from the album um i'm glad the back you know one of the bands i personally grew up with i texted my dad before actually saying lincoln park are back together and his reply was hybrid theory was a fucking brilliant album we used to listen to that in the car all the time when i was younger he got me into lincoln park like, like I've said in previous videos in the past, my dad is heavily responsible for my taste in music. I wouldn't have known who this band was if it wasn't for him. So, there we go. But yeah, give it a chance, people. Give it a chance. Let's see what happens. They clearly saw something in her. Mike Shinoda's not stupid. So there we go. The Emptiness Machine, official music video. Linkin Park, new vocalist, Emily Armstrong. Let's get behind the people. Show some support. And yeah, I will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Apologies, I couldn't get that video out four years last night. Like I say, it was too late. I had to go to bed for work. But here we go. We've got it out now. Yep, yeah, let me know what you think. Drop your comments down below. Please be nice. Keep your opinions, you know, nice. Don't want any shit in the comments saying she ain't Chester. We know she ain't. She's a woman. But yeah, right. Take care. See you all soon. Bye for now.